Rich with Rich Tech. Welcome again to another episode of how you can repair your MagSafe cables. Today we are going to repair a MagSafe 2 or Retina or T-Shape uh, connector cable. We are going to join the T-Shape connector to the cable. As in this case we have a perfectly normal and good MagSafe 2 45 watt uh, retina charger but the head the t-shape is disconnected so the first step is to cut off excess wire at the end of the t-shaped connector and uh, this is how we prepare our uh, t-shaped connector next to remove the wire sheathing at the end the very end of the t-shaped connector we pull it out carefully because we are going to use this rubber sheeting in our next steps. So we put this somewhere careful so that we can use it again. Okay, now we can uh, separate the wires. We've already said in our previous videos, I'll leave the links below, that uh, the bare wire is the negative or the return, and the one which is insulated is the V out uh, 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 wire one which is which has the white insulation so we cut a bit of it and then we remove the insulation at least one millimeter from the end so as to prepare the t-shaped connector for a new wire which is going to be joined at that end we can add uh, a piece of insulation as in this case the wire the, the yellow uh, piece of uh, material there you can, as you can see we add it there so as to increase the strength there also to insulate the wires this is also important next we have our wire which we want to join to the connector we slide the rubber sheeting remember we cut it from the other end with the connector we slide it into the wire and we make sure it goes a bit far behind because we want to prepare the end of this wire the end of this wire is uh, cut at least one centimeter we cut the rubber rubber insulation or sheet as, as I would call it one centimeter from the end prepare it nicely be careful so that you do not cut your fingers once we cut this we'll reveal the negative naked wire or the V uh, the, the return cable the return wires they are not insulated we put them separate and then we have the positive or the V out uh, wire there which we also cut off the rubber insulation or plastic insulation one millimeter from the end we cut from this the wire insulation or the rubber insulation or it may be plastic insulation so as to prepare that end uh, this will give us the place to work on so that we can join the connector and the wire at those points remember we are going to solder our positives or B V out cables next we slide a piece of insulation which will cover the joint once we are done in this case we have held it back with its yellow and we held it back with a black wire and now we can solder our joint joining the v out cables make sure that it is perfect and neat and that there is no excess uh, solder we solder the joint make sure there is no excess solder and then we remove you remove the wire which was holding back the insulation and slide the insulation over the joint to cover it make sure no wire is being seen the positive wire should not be seen uh, it should be covered completely to prevent short circuiting and uh, this one should be done neatly and perfectly if it is done right it should look like like this this is a perfect example of uh, how you should cover your joint now the v out cable is a uh, completely insulated now we can spread our negative naked wires or return wires over the joint remember you can always test the continuity using a meter if you have one now you spread we spread the negative wires over the joint and then make them perfect and now we want to slide the rubber sheathing to cover the joint 
but before we do this there's one more thing we should do or we can do we test our t-shape connect if it's working in this case it is perfect we can test it before we cover the joint so as to ensure that our cable will work perfectly our connector will charge perfectly so this is also important our retina cable now is ready to be covered the joint is ready to be covered now we pull the rubber sheathing uh, to cover the joint and you can use a uh, super glue at the end in order to retain the rubber sheathing over the joint so that it doesn't roll back or pull back we pull it all the way to the yellow insulation ensuring that the whole joint is covered and remember we had the rubber the second rubber sheathing which we had slid over the wire we will also need to slide it over the joint to cover everything now up and make a nice neat joint now we apply some super glue over the joint before we slide the rubber sheathing the end result should be something neat and uh, no one may know if it's been joined and uh, if you, we need to test again to ensure that our work is perfect and this is how you repair your MagSafe to your retina cable or you join the connector to the wire now if you like such content subscribe to my channel hit the like button and you may also click on the bell to get notifications on videos i may release in future and i'll leave this uh, links to other videos i've done